Hello and welcome to today's historic best of three deck Tekken gameplay video on Arc Light Conjuring. Arc Light Conjuring is a deck that basically takes two, maybe three pet cards that I've wanted to work with and kind of combines them into a deck, which I think is not that bad. Cards in question are Collected Conjuring. For those of you who don't know, it's four mana sorcery, exile the top six of your cup. Top six cards of your library, you can cast two sorceries, cost three or less, and then you put the non-used ones on the bottom in a rando order. This is a way to dig really, really deep, and with all of the other card draw spells that we have here, allows you to hopefully find either your copies of Arc Like Phoenix or your copies of Hollow One. I'm running Hollow One. Though certain other variations of this build will run things like a Sprite Dragon, I just believe Hollow One is a particularly fun creature, and it kind of works with all of the discard outlets that you uh, sort of have here. Ah, like your Faithless Lootings and your Charter Courses and your Tormenting Voices. Also run four Goblin Electromancers and two Barals as ways to make your Instant and Sorceries cheaper, allowing for either, say, Collected Conjuring on turn three, or say one mana charter courses or one mana grape shots or what have you. Also run a few copies of Royal Eruption. Not an ideal removal spell, but with the sort of restrictions that Collected Conjuring demands of your deck, we have to use more sorcery based removal. Also on a small uh, little note, ideally with a Collected Conjuring, if you hit say the con or if you play at the Conjuring yourself and you hit two of any other, you know, sorcery spells, that is enough to reanimate the phoenix on its own. Similar to the finale of Promise, but I feel like, uh, or I've personally felt like Collected Conjuring was, again, one of those fun cards that I've wanted to play with. Lands, pretty simple. Six and six basics, four steam vents, four fast lands, Nothing too terribly special. Sideboard, a couple negates for the important non-creatures. A braid for if we really need more creature removal or the occasional, say, artifact destruction of uh, Grafdrigger's Cages. A couple Sweltering Stuns for Sweepers. Rampaging Ferocidons to turn off life gain since with your uh, life gain decks in the format, they can climb out of range of you. I have four copies of Red Leyline here, since a good amount of hand hate can totally pick this deck apart, and really single target removal can really, really also destroy this deck, be it single targeting the Arc Lights down or the Hollow Ones down, or even say single targeting you to exile your graveyard or what have you. And also running two copies of Chandra Awakened Inferno. A nice thing to bring in against control decks that are going to have buttloads of counters, and if you think that they're going to be able to sideboard into a plan that totally hoses your phoenixes, Chandra's are a nice backup way to sort of hopefully close out a game. And that is the base deck. We're going to go ahead and go to our showcase match of the day right now. For uh, also a little uh, side note. We're going to try and do, say, one showcase match from now on for like a video or two just to test things out and to, you know, try and dabble with the formula. Anywho, on to the showcase game. Now, our spotlight game with Collected or Collected Phoenix or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> huh, this is honestly pretty good. We can do something with this. Would love to get a Collected Conjuring on turn three, ideally. Well, I mean, Electromaxes aren't bad. We would prefer a land, however. That'll do. Uh, some sort of questing... Nope, never mind. Alright, showtime. Hopefully we draw some good stuff. Go ahead and collect a conjuring, look for some discard spells, and find nothing! Jesus. Uh Okay, so if we do you first, 
And then Royal Eruption second, targeting you. Storm count goes up one. So we do you. And that should clear your board. Wasn't as explosive Phoenix-wise, but I did clear the board. There we go. Next turn, if nothing else, we can just Tormenting Voice away some Phoenixes and hope to draw the nuts. We'll go ahead and just shock in the Steam Vents. Alright, one. And then two for the looting. Discarding two Phoenixes. Third spell, Strategic Planning. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the Hollow One into our hand. And play a hollow one. Alright. <laughs> Yay! We've got to shut the deck. <laughs> what it can do. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's a thing. And it does kind of suck, to be fair. Um, uh, I guess we can Electromancer here. Play you. See what we can find with some Faithless Lootings. Uh, probably don't need the Let's see Electromancer and the Mountain. Go ahead and see the truth for our second spell. All of them kinda useless. Uh, I guess we'll Faithless Looting for a third spell, see what we can find. Which is nothing. Which is alright. I think we just attack and he dies. Pretty good game one for our showcase game. Now the trick is... What will our opponent bring in in response? Um... I... Th I think... We're just gonna run it as is. He might bring in a Graft Digger's Cage, which would suck. But I think we'll be okay. Game two. Almost a good hand if I had lands. That's something. Guess we get it. Put a Royal Eruption to the bottom. Oh, we have a Baral too. Well, we're cooking with gas now, buddy. Go ahead and Baral on turn two. Again, looking to get the Electromancer effect to make all of our stuff cheaper. Oh, it's just Gruel Dinos. All right. I unironically un like our opponent's deck, man. Oldie but a goodie. Rotting Raptor. Okay, we're running some, some shit. Uh, okay, we'll chart a course. Spell number one. Discarding the Phoenix. Uh, I guess we will just play the canal. You know, uh, so spell two can be a royal eruption on the raptor. And honestly, I think we can just third spell royally erupt their face and just go. Again, normally you don't want to use, as we talked about in the deck tech, sorcery removal. Or sorcery speed removal. Whatever you Oh my! You did- Who the hell just runs that card? I mean, yeah, it's a good card. In this particular instance, it really fucks me up. Of course, sometimes you brick with your collective conjuring and hit actually nothing. So we'll just go ahead and see the truth. Uh, okay, grip shot something. Can't really attack here. That sucks. What a weird... I mean, yeah, sometimes they just have a, a hasty boy and your life is ruined. Um... Huh. Three, four, we don't kill it basically no matter what happens here. Probably just take the hit. As weird as that sounds. Uh, spell number one, strategic planning. Eh. I 
guess we do Charter Course. Charter Course for our second spell, looking for more Phoenixes. We find none. Go ahead and check the Tormenting Voice. So we can... Eh, we can Faithless Looting for our third spell. Not entirely surprised we don't find anything there. Spend the remainder of our turn grape shutting down. This should be four, right? Two, three, four. Now we can at least attack with the Phoenix, which is something. I don't know if it's going to matter in the end, because sometimes your opponent just has the number. Oh god! Oh no, well, that, that sucks. Um, go ahead and block the throat. And I don't think there's anything we can do here. Uh, we'll see, though. Shard, of course. You're not really that useful, Hollow One. Strategic planning, second spell. You're not really that useful either. Good game. Sometimes... If you don't, you know, hit what you gotta hit, you just die with this deck, unfortunately. But my days as a WoW Enhancement Shaman, boy do I love them. Uh, we'll probably cut maybe like two Collected Conjurings for Summer Braids, since we're gonna need it. Also probably cut one Grave Shot for another Braid, since we will need much more creature removal, I see now. <laughs> And we'll play first, because we have a brain in our skull. Things to do. It's not as explosive, but hopefully this way we don't die. So we can better contest the board. Go ahead and just pay to get the access to the colors and the Electromancer. Drover of the Mighty. That is a thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so we could... Is it, any, is it any spell? So I should be able to Electromancer, and then Grape Shot will be for two once I cast it, correct? Second going to the Drover, and if he has like a, you have to say a combat trick, we just hate our lives. Not bad! And we still have an abrade in hand. Might be enough to let us claw our way into this thing. Uh, I guess we can... Do I really want to tor- uh, Yeah, we can Tormenting Voice, that's fine. We'll chuck an island. Love some red sources here. Okay, again, that's my fault. I didn't specify what kind of red source. We'll go ahead and abrade the Drover now, and again, just try and apply pressure with our Electromancers. This has been a pretty good little game three of showing how uh, someone can help to adjust in games two and three. Uh, we go ahead and attack if they have some sort of infuriate style, you have to say combat trick, they just have it. Five mana from our opponent, Knight of the Stampede. I myself do enjoy a big old scary dino from time to time. Uh, is there any way we can just win? If we swing with everything, he blocks a two, he goes to five, right? Blocks a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should just be able to attack and win, correct? Oh, he blocks the other two, right. Is about to say. See, this is that. It's kind of what I was hoping he would do. That was a pretty good showcase game. Hopefully, that will 
do a good job of showing the deck in action, if that's what you care about. And now we'll go on to our little deck wrap-up wrap up session. And we're back with our little wrap-up section of our deck. My sort of closing thoughts on the deck are... I think the deck is really fun, and it's honestly pretty good. The problem that I sort of talked about for a second in the showcase game is that it's a good bit of RNG dependent since you just have to either hit a good, you know, you have to get good hits with your conjurings or you have to actually be able to like find with all your draw spells here. Let's move the grip shot over for a second. There we go. You have to, with all your card draw and discard effects, you have to find either Hollow Ones or Arc Lights. And if you do, you can, you know, make some really, really crazy shit happen. Uh, again, I talked about my time as an Enhancement Shaman for, like, a decade of my life in WoW. And any uh, WoW veterans will know the joys of Wind Fury. <laughs> this is basically Wind Fury Weapon, the magic deck. Or, you know, your slot machine version of a deck. If you, on turn 2, have access to a Baral or an Electromancer, and, say, a Collected Conjuring or just a handful of some good drawn discard spells, you can pull that big old lever and, like, really, really high roll. And to be honest, it can be very fun when you do. The only weakness is that if you don't. I have, again, as we talked about in the previous parts of the video. I have seen people not run Hollow One. Hollow One's kind of a pet card of mine. Uh, instead of Hollow One, they'll run things like Sprite Dragon, which is honestly pretty good. Like Sprite Dragons or um, uh, like Crackling Drakes. If you don't have Hollow Ones and you want to try this deck at home, don't be afraid. There are plenty of good uh, alternatives. Now, all of that... Um, all of the negatives sort of point out about the deck, you can sort of circumvent these things with a, like, uh, a good sort of, whatever you deem to be a good sideboard. You can sort of sideboard your way out of problems, which is kind of good. I like this sideboard, honestly. We didn't get a chance to see the Leyline of Combustion come into a whole lot of play here, in case people are at home. Again, this is one of those with Thought Seizes and, uh, Inquisitions in the format, you can really chip people for a lot of damage. But overall, the deck is a lot of fun, if you have it. And if you happen to, like me, have collected Conjuring and we're thinking, man, I was looking for some sort of deck to put collected Conjuring in, this is a pretty good one. And the deck is not bad. Will it get you to number one Mythic? Probably not, no. But will it climb you out of your Bronze and Silvers and get you into Platinum? It will. The only reason why I wasn't platinum in the video, for reference, is that the season reset. <laughs> That's all. But anywho, thank you all for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it, sub if you like me, and if you have any sort of questions or, say, your own constructive two cents, that's what comments are for. Have a great day. Remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together.